Ready? Never. Yeah. Steady? <laughs> Rosie specifically? <laughs> Go. Hello. Wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that I pressed start stream, but then there was a pop up like, are you sure you want to start? Are you sure? Are you sure you want to do it? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to this Glasgow 2024 stream, uh, Twitch stream. Um, as per usual, it's always chaos as we start. Yeah, but that is that is quite normal. Um, we are, uh, this is a session of Let's Roll, the Let's Roll Hell and High Water. Specifically, this is session 12? 13. 13. 13. Lucky 13. number 13. Mm. Lucky number 13. Let's see how well that goes for our players today. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us um, on the Glasgow 2024 Twitch channel. Uh, as we might have mentioned, many times already. We are playing on behalf of the Worldcon Glasgow 2024, which is the Worldcon that is happening in Glasgow in 2024. It's well named. That's this year. Oh, August 8th to 12th in the SEC. Come along. I'm pointing at a thing on the screen that we uh, can't see, but it's definitely right here. Right there? <laughs> yeah, you can join the convention. Right Our technical coordinator knows what's going on. We don't. Right down here. <laughs> down there is the how to donate to the fan fund. So we have several QR codes on the screen. The one that is... Oh, I'm going to try. Up, up here? Up join here. the convention. This down is there? Fun. <laughs> you can have a look at the memberships for Glasgow 2024 here, and um, they are... We didn't shut the curtains. <laughs> I took the wonder why... What the <laughs> We just talked about it and then... Um, anyway. So you can check out the convention using that QR code and purchase your membership there. We have discounted rates for those that live in Scotland or for those that it's their first world con. Please do check it out and consider uh, supporting us and coming along. We also have online memberships, so if you can't travel to Glasgow for the world con, you can still like attend via the online convention and there will be a lot of um online content that we're hoping to push out as part of that the other qr codes <laughs> are the fan funds so if you want to th donate a little bit of money to help um fans that wouldn't normally be able to afford to go to conventions attend conventions you can do so using those qr codes yes there's also a discount if you're part of a group that is historically underrepresented at world cons yes thank or you. science fiction conventions one of those yeah. yeah, it's very unspecific about what that means. So it's meant to be. It's, it's meant to be a, a, a self opting yes. with the idea that we don't police that. That's cool. I like that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be rude for us to police it, I think, is the idea. Um, so, yes, yeah, so please consider joining us. If you have um, the inclination, please consider uh, supporting the Fan Fund to help others come to conventions. Uh, but other than that, we will dive into this session of Let's Roll Hell and High Water. Yay. So this is session 13. We haven't played in about a month. Yes. Yeah. So everything might be a little rusty. So I usually give you... Over a month. Two, two minutes? I think it's five. I usually give you two minutes. Pretty sure it's I five. thought it was 26. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much like a good quarter of the session. Yeah. <laughs> I will give you... A three minute. Whoa. Time. He's going to squander this so bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You so we bring really up a timer and we'll get yeah. rolling. Ready? Yeah, ready. Go. We're staring down a fog wall. We don't know what's on the other side of it. Could be a boss. That's Could it. Be... <laughs> Very dark souls. Yeah, but the, you can hear the Latin choir starting up. It's, it's yeah, right. that's pretty much it. Right. But how we got there, <laughs> I guess we should cover. We, <laughs> we strike out across the city in search of our dog. And also the baddie that stole him and has this magic cup that we want back. Um, uh, into the Temple District of Perlmire, uh, the Shining City of the Knights of Ash. Um, it's uh, cut off from the main-bodied city by a massive gorge where the river used to be. Um, there's one bridge still standing. We found that the knights have been unable to secure it. There's just too many fiends over there. Yeah, they're incompetent. Yeah, there weren't that many. <laughs> so, so we went there and we just trashed it. We, yeah. we killed an awful lot of fiends. Um, some hellhounds, some imps, uh, there was this cool armoured flying devil called an Erinese that showed up. You yo-yoed her to death. Ah, uh, something like that. I forgot about the yo-yo. Um, <laughs> struck out up towards the Temple of Torm after the bridge was reinforced by more Knights of Ash, hopefully they'll hold it. Um, found a way to the temple, uh, and a load of evacuees and knights were there, and we were like, the way is clear, get out of here, go, and they went. Um, and he said, wait, our boss is downstairs. And we went, we'll get her. And we went downstairs and... Picked our way through the catacombs um, with the assistance of a little creature that appears when you cast Locate Object now. You don't get a 
pull, you get a guide. And this guide took us through the nav uh, navigated us through this maze of catacombs. We kind of chopped our way as we went deeper and deeper underground until we met this mysterious door. And him said, "Here we are." And we went, "Okay." Uh, and pushed it open, and there was a fog wall. And him went, "Psych," and disappeared. Oh, yeah. Um. How long have I got? You still have an hour and a minute and twelve seconds. <laughs> an like hour. That's your quickest. I have a good hour. Best recap you've ever that's done. That's your quickest recap. So Alex, you've learned. We're also in hell. We're also in hell. Mm. I don't think that came up in game and in person. Yeah, that's well, why it's so few, warm. We've been in hell a few sessions now. I don't know. Maybe somebody was like session thirteen. This is where I want to start. Yeah, yeah. This city got dragged to hell, and things are bad. Hmm. Yeah, but it's gonna be great. We're gonna do so good. I've got three hit points. No, you don't. Do. We just had this whole discussion. <laughs> I do have three hit points because I'm a B. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, after that, I have like. After those three, you have like a hundred. Mm. It'll be fine. You've got decent spells. So slots. You're, you're a B and you're in Adeline's pocket and we're both invisible. Yeah. That's where we're at? Are you both invisible? Well, I've got invisibility concentration written down. I think maybe and I feel yes. like for some reason. Mm. Yeah, I we th were I like think, a little chain or something, weren't we? Yeah, I think I did pass without trace. Because you as a bee tried to look under the door, and it just looked I, normal. No, I tried to go under the door, yeah. and oh, it yeah, just yeah. fucking <laughs> bamped me back. Yeah. Yeah. Was the invisibility not on the Yeah, it was. Oh, maybe it was. So no, I think we just oh, had yes. some the fog. Because oh. it was riding around on Adeline's shoulder, like, yeah, pinching him with balls to go like, go right, go left. No, wait, <laughs> the invisibility, the imp could go invisible. So why would you cast yeah. it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the imp was invisible, but it did it on its own. Yeah. I seem to remember that you cast invisibility no, on it. No, I remember it was proposed and you were mm. like, you want me invisible? And oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. So are you concentrating on invisibility? Yes. <laughs> so you want to be. <laughs> well, I mean, I'll have used the spell slot, so yes. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll give you the option to not use the spell slot. I don't remember what level it Let's was. Let's go back to the tapes. If it was over two people, it would have been a third level. So do you want a third level spell slot, or do you want to be invisible? Do we want to be invisible? How much do we... Uh, yeah. I think it would pay to be able to get through this doorway without being spotted. Yeah. Apart from the door opening being pretty... Why are these all level one? Obvious. Yeah, the door opens and like it was a push door, so it's disappeared into the fog. Yeah. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. At least they won't be able to target us as well. If, if, if they if they go mm -hmm. in, if we come in and, and, and they go for us, then at least they'll be like... Mm. There? There? They'll never hit me. Mm. <laughs> This was a mistake. <laughs> hey, our kind of question. Our, what could a fog wall represent? Is this like, is this a portal to like a different location? Do you want to roll me our kind Is this, is this literally just we do. Like do we still have the mind so? thingy up? Yes. Is that still yeah. going? We do. So you would mm. have advantage. What's this? Uh, yeah, I think we did roll. Um, did you take a note of it? No, because I think we bombed it. Yeah. You bombed it. No, uh, we well. we thought that it was to a different place in on the same plane, but maybe not in the city, I think. Mm. But that also might just be what Rosie decided. I guess there's one way for us to find out. Can we do it again? Because if we did do it, we don't remember. I don't believe that Alex likes us play that way. Alex expects us to have good memories. It was over a notes. month. I expect you to take a note. Took notes. It was in my notes say into the fog. <laughs> into the fog. Into the fog. Yes. Mm. All went for very different little melodies there. Mm. Little babies. Oh yes. Oh, you gave me a pearl of power. That's right. Yes. What I... level is that? Ooh. It gives you a spell slot. Oh, uh, the third third level okay. was the, the cool. highest. Then we're invisible. Okay. Cool. Then. Anyway, shall we go? The last, shall we just go? The last note I have written there just says deception. Deception. <laughs> deception. I, weirdly, I know exactly what that means. So what I'm does it mean? It. <laughs> it means that um, Lyra is proficient in the deception. Oh, okay. Ability. That was like, it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. She currently linked in. No. 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 <laughs> I just, I just it's just good to know. I was like, I'll just write that there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's just go. Let's just we should just it. go. You want to walk into the fog? Yep. Okay. Okay. Can we sneak through the fog? Positively giddy with anxiety. 
<laughs> Give me that. We were invisible in your B. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need mean, in my pocket? I think I was like, I thought I'd be in your pocket because okay. I want to see what's going on. So maybe just okay. on your shoulder being okay. like, buzz. Cool. Then, yeah, well, can, we, can we sneak through? Okay. You can roll me self checks. Okay. I know it's been over a month, but um, we didn't introduce ourselves, our characters. <laughs> oh my god, we didn't. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I'm Isla, I'm playing Kai. They're a uh, half elf, bard, warlock, six levels bard, five levels of warlock. Sick. Hi, I'm Will. Uh, I'm playing Adelin. He's a ranger of uh, a class that might not exist anymore, but we're going <laughs> to run fine. with that. Um, uh, a a Shadowbane ranger, straight class in 11 levels, uh, likes hunting monsters. Huh? Hi, I'm Rosie. I'm playing Polly. She's a bee. Just always. Yeah. She's just a bee. At this moment in time. Yeah. yeah. And this is Alex. <laughs> She's our GM. <laughs> Everything and everyone else. She's here to kill us today. Yeah. I am here to facilitate your storytelling experience. I didn't With say in process. <laughs> but I meant to, to be clear. We might survive a game, but she's going to kill us in person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. You can, you can get me arrested for murder. <laughs> yeah, sure. Everyone knows the best way to commit a murder is live <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> I'm, I'm the only viewer, so I'm the only witness. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's not like it's going to get uploaded to YouTube yeah. or anything. Well, I mean, if you kill me, it won't. <laughs> that's a good point. And I can't do that technical stuff. Perfect. So. Perfect. Well, that's Isla's life secured. <laughs> so, should we sneak through the fog wall? Yes. Let's. Do I roll? I'm on a shoulder. Um... Mm. Well, I would say because you're on the shoulder and you're not, like, at, uh, admittedly, how are you going to see Adeline's shoulder, but if, if we take a minute to figure that one out <laughs> between yourselves and, like, trying to bump into bump each other. Like, we can still talk. Yeah. She can um, hear where his mm. head is and the shoulder will be nearby. Presumably. I'd say you're, you're probably going to be relying on Adeline's stealth check because cool. you, technically you can be seen. Can I give you, the help you are, action? Well, they're getting advantage because yeah, they're true, invisible yeah. anyway. That's true. We are? Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. Okay. Um, I cast Pass Without Trace a little I while back. I was about back. to say, yeah, do we have Pass Without Trace? Oh well, I believe that was to move up to the Temple of Tor. It was to move up to the Temple yeah. of Tor. It's been way more than an hour. Okay. Yeah. So we lost a little button. <laughs> that yeah. was a drop, but okay. Really great. You still get advantage. So. Yeah. Cool, that was better. <laughs> Sick. 21. 21? Uh, 19. 19. Woohoo! Wicked. Nice. Proud of you guys. So we hold hands and we descend into the abyss together. Cute. Yeah. Yes. Let's jump. Yes. Whee! No, no, let's let's slowly and methodically <laughs> creep, so. creep through the fog. Okay. <laughs> it, who is leading? Me. <laughs> you have choice of shoulder or leading? Leading shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. Uh, I'll, I'll lead. Okay. I'll lead. Okay. I'll lead. I'll lead. ready. You've got like your hand on our shoulder that doesn't have a B on it or something? <laughs> Squish. <laughs> we just immediately <laughs> drop Polly out of evil. <laughs> three damage, Rear Spear on top of Adeline. Squash. <laughs> I'm not actually sure Kai could do three damage with an unarmed attack. I have athletic oh, with an unarmed attack. It's an unarmed attack, I'm afraid. You give me hit It points. does so little damage, I've not even written it on my sheet. <laughs> I believe it's zero damage Probably. because you have a negative modifier. <laughs> I could flick her off and then the ground could do the damage. Anyway, yes, so let's walk through this door. Through we're fog. 15 minutes into this stream. And we're trying to walk through a door. Yes. <laughs> Going <laughs> it's about normal. <laughs> okay, so Adeline, you start to push through this fog. And if you remember correctly, the city mm. was swelteringly hot, like a dry heat. It was like drying out your lips, they were getting a bit cracked, um, the air in your lungs was starting to feel really hot and heavy and uncomfortable, mm. and then descending down into the um, catacombs. The catacombs, thank you. Um, it was a lot cooler. Mm. It wasn't cold like you'd normally expect for the catacombs, but a lot cooler considering the heat that is out there. The stone is, is protecting you from the heat of Avernus. Mm. Pushing through the fog, that temperature would mm. drop again mm. drastically and almost be chilly Ooh, as you're oh, stepping that's nice. through. That's nice. 
and then the fog would begin to dissipate mm -hmm. and the temperature would rise to a fairly comfortable ambient temperature. Mm. So not blistering hells and not cool catacombs. How kind of far have we gone through the fog at this point? It would take you maybe 30 seconds if you're slowly pushing through. Really? So it's like it's a good distance through the fog. It's not yeah. just like... It's a good leap of faith, as it were. <laughs> What's the ground like as we're... Is it still flagstones? Is still it... flagstones. Smooth okay. flagstones. And like stretching a hand out, you can kind of feel a wall on either side that you can like scrape your nails against and feel that it's stone. Similar stone to the catacombs? I'm not sure you could tell. Okay. It's a solid stone. Cool. Mm -hmm. we just kind of proceed slowly. Smooth. And when the fog starts to thin, I'll try and pick out any details that I can. Okay. And keep a sharp ear out for yes. traps, presences. Okay, um, you can roll me a perception check. Um, I'm going to ask for an audio. Audio. Audio? What? Audio. Auditory. Thank you. Another <laughs> right prefix, and then you can fill in the rest. <laughs> Anybody on the conference call proficient in perception? Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, we both have an advantage if you're the other one that's right. <laughs> nice. Uh, sick. 21. A 21. Um, so you would hear. It would be eerily quiet. Like, the catacombs were quiet for the occasional shaking mm. of the city as it either settles or something hits it as another bombardment of devils fly across kind of thing. Like, mm. there was gentle shakings and the tumbling of rocks in the catacombs. That isn't present here. It is quieter than you expected here. Okay. In addition to that, there is, like, gentle scraping Noises of what does that mean? From further ahead? From further ahead. What does that mean? I don't know. Do you... Does it sound heavy? Does it sound like stone on stone? No, no, no it doesn't sound heavy. I no. like claws? Scraping. Something sliding across the stone? Um, I something think... that's definitely hard on hard, mm. and I don't think it like... sounds heavy, and I'm not sure you're getting much more information from that. Okay. Is it coming from just like one thing? This, yeah. It's coming from one source. Like, yes, yeah. one source, one source, definitely. Mm. And as we get to the end of the fog, and it starts to dissipate, mm. you can see that there is a set of stone stairs leading down. Okay. Okay. And is the scraping coming from down the stairs? Yes. Oh. Is the stairs moving like in Hogwarts? <sighs> How long were we in the fog for? 30 seconds? Cool. Do you want to, like, no, this is silly. I was like, if I bug on down there, I could either scope out and come back. But we're all invisible, so that is a perk. It's just that I'm worried that the stairs are some sort of strap and trap, and if I... Mm. Fly them. I don't need to stand on them. Um, check for traps. Check for traps. Yeah, that's a good idea. We should just do that. Okay, who's checking for traps? Um, Is anyone proficient? I'm proficient in investigation. If anybody wants to roll out with advantage, or I can. Well, I mean, you're leading, so I would have said it. Okay. It's either you or you got to start switching places. Got mind. I am not proficient. I only have a plus four. Oh, I am proficient and have a plus four. <laughs> <laughs> Objectively, I think it makes more sense for yeah. change places. Change places, and I'll just keep listening. You also have your temper pole. You do have a temper pole! I do. Clack, 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 clack. I got an 11. An 11? Okay. okay. Uh, it doesn't appear to be track. Seems fine. Is the architecture of the staircase the same as the catacombs? No, no, it is oh. quite different. Ooh. Whereas the catacombs were quite ancient mm. and obviously built for utility in terms of they're trying to fit as many people in here as they can kind of thing and it's gotten to that point in the catacombs mm. Mm. Uh, because all knights of ash and a lot of holy people are buried here and those that are devoted to the gods are often buried here it's 
prestigious place to be buried. <laughs> um, local families also tend to have a corner in the crypt somewhere that they bury, mm. and then when obviously they run out of space, they start packing people in. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> mm. You want to be near the family, it's okay if you're on top of them. <laughs> um, bunk beds. Yeah. Mm. And then it gets worse than bunk beds in places, mm. depending on the family and the money that they have and things like that. Um, so nervous. This tunnel is like smooth on its walls and ceiling. It's got like an arched ceiling mm. to it. Um, there's no light sources down here, so if anybody doesn't have dark vision, you cannot see. I think we all do. We do. Do you have as a bee? Well, that's a good question, yeah, actually. So you have the physical stats as a bee. Um, is it... Mm similar to anything we've seen before like from any buildings or any mm. area, like different areas like oh this is similar to something in Pearlmire or something from an island can we or rule for architecture <laughs> yeah can we, can we roll <laughs> knowledge architecture uh, you can roll me intelligence um, I don't have sure. dark vision but I have 30 feet of blind sight hey, so nice I really thought you were going to see B vision B vision <laughs> I take it back I have B sight you have B sight B sounds for blind what am I rolling intelligence intelligence please 16 16 so 16 I think would tell you that um, nothing the architecture here wouldn't immediately stand out to you as anything that you've come across uh, in like your time on the islands and in Dust Hill. Mm -hmm. It is very similar to a lot of the stuff in Pearl Maya, um, but it looks a lot less used than most of Pearl Maya. Mm. We've time travelled. I should have been looking at Alex's face when he said those words. I wasn't. Neither was I. Well, was like, anyone was it? looking at Alex? Not <laughs> really. Why? Yeah. Oh, because oh, they all spent probably. the game of trying to read my face to see what the reaction is. Sometimes we're good at it. Oh no, I think you're hungry. <laughs> I'm okay, actually. Yeah. <laughs> did um did the investigation roll reveal any traps? Sorry. No. Uh, no. No. Sorry. It's perfectly I'm safe. Eleven, Ten foot right. pole says we're okay. Cool. Very good. Um. Should we just go? Should yeah. we go for it? Do you want to lead with the 10 foot pole? Should I still be a bee or should I? I think yeah, but, yeah, I be think a bee. You don't, wanna, you don't want to waste yeah. it. <laughs> we want to be a busy, busy bee? Yeah. I guess I'm in the front now. Yeah? With a pole. With a tip tap top pole? I'll, I'll, be, sure. I'll be like behind you with the crossbow, like seeing over your shoulder. Okay. Mm -hmm. more elevation. Okay, let's start to reveal a little bit of the map then. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, if you could lift your... Terrifying. You should know that we have two tea towels hiding this map. You can move it the is. tea towel back to that point. Unacceptable, quite frankly, at this point. Yeah. Mm. Wow. Oh, well, it's boy. A tunnel. <laughs> Up to Fogwall. Fog wall. Well, let's go back. You can if you like. We've seen enough. So you can see that the stairs end before you. You can start lining yourself up as well, please. Um, um, do you have your bees? Yes, you have your bees. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I have my bees. We have bees. I'll give you the other one too. Just in case. So I, I believe I have all the correct <gasps> ones. Like that? I should use my tiny dice whilst I'm in bee form. That's that so would cute. Be adorable. Yes. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> okay, so you can see that the stairs um, are coming to an end, and you can see that they open up into a slightly wider corridor before you. Well. Going. You yeah. want to keep clipping Glotter down? I yep. think lots of other options. We have to keep going. Yeah. Down. And we're still stealthing, yeah? Still stealthing. Okay. Uh, I'll get you to stop like here, if that's all what? right. What? And we will reveal the we next We all immediately the next died. <laughs> yep. Ooh. There's a door. Okay. Yes, red will indicate a door for you. I've also numbered the side room so you know where the hell you are. Yes, nice. Thank you. And where's my box? Where is your box? Mm. Here is my box. Oh no. Usually that means that there's people. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. Ooh. Oh. We didn't see this guy. So I'm now telling you that he's just come into view. <laughs> As you've gotten to the bottom of the stairs. That is why I have stopped you from charging okay. forwards. I see, I see. <laughs> um. No, <Night> Dash? <laughs> no, so this. Mm. This individual that you can see before you is wearing very plain armour. There's no insignias marked on it or anything like that. Um, 
you are invisible as well. Oh my god, that's brilliant. <laughs> you are invisible, so I think you could take maybe like a couple of seconds. Yeah. A couple of rounds yeah. to sit and watch. They are unnaturally still. Oh god. Okay. Like we... inhumanly <clears throat> so? Like animated Taking armor. a bit like, longer I was to watch. Construct, were you? Mm. I think it would be you would watch them and be like, you would have expected somebody to like shuffle, shift their weight, like lean to one side, yeah. something like that. Mm-hmm. Fine now. Act they are not have doing that. Breathing? The scray- Sorry? Can you see if they're breathing? <laughs> Do the shoulders raise and lower like you move ever when you so breathe. slightly? True. Uh, there is no movement. Ooh. So it's up to you yeah. if that is. You cannot see the breathing under all the armor or something like that. The scraping noise that you heard earlier is coming from deeper in. Okay. Behind these doors? Yes. I don't know what that means. Completely generic set of armor. Um, is it like covering them head to toe? Like, is there any sign of... Are there any gaps? No gaps that you can see. So, animated armor slash construct slash golem? I mean, that yeah. is my best guess. Uh, can I take a real close look uh, and see if there's like anything identifying on it at all? Oh uh, yeah, you can roll me a perception check. With advantage. Oh, you get it already, I forgot. Well, I'd be getting it from when he is. Or are you, would you be helping? No, you get it from the eyes of the eagle, do you not? If I've got them okay. equipped. But, um, Which I might. <laughs> Just a... Kai has got a proficiency, so you do get advantage. Thank you. Now nice. 20. Who is he? Who is what is he doing here? The armor is completely blank. There is no insignia inscribed into it. You cannot see a holy symbol hanging from their neck. Um, and even taking a bit of time to like try and peer at the cloak that's sort of like behind them, that is also unnaturally still, but it doesn't appear to be anything more than a grey cloth. Is it a statue? <laughs> it might just be a statue. Should we just kind of hustle in and if we yeah. trigger something then fantastic, um, we'll yeah, really can we can we creep up to the end of the hole? Should we can, check yeah, continue for... looking for traps? Yeah. <laughs> Who is looking for traps? Hi. Sure. Temple pole. Temple pole. Temple pole. Is advantage? Yes. 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 Mm. yes. Proficiency, so yeah. <laughs> Ten, I'm getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't appear to be trapped. Still okay. safe. I think we're fine. Cool. What's um what's the door situation? Is there a B sized gap in either of those? Uh it doesn't look like it from this point out. Mm. Uh is this individual wielding like a halberd or a pole arm of some yes. sort like that? Okay. Mm. Interesting. Um <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> Polly Polly <died>. died. So. <laughs> She's back in her normal form. <laughs> Um, creep up to there. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the room like? Uh, the room itself is a very clean stone room with uh, 15 foot ceilings. Mm-hmm. Wow. Um, it, again, it kind of reminds you of the architecture of Palmyra, but it's very nondescript mm. and it's very clean. You said clean twice. Yeah. What does that mean? It's just like... It's a Roomba. <laughs> I'm saying, is, is this like, is this like a demiplane? Like some wizard has literally just dreamt this up. And I mean, like, oh, how do I decorate a room? I, I don't, don't know. I, I don't know if we're... I, I think I mean, isn't that what every DM does? <laughs> I don't think it's a demiplane. I do. Mm. But I, or at least it's certainly not a plane plane that we were on previously. I think it's very plain. plain. <laughs> I think it's very plain on this thing. Yeah, it's plain. It's very plain plain. Um, <laughs> that was good, I like that. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, I missed that. <laughs> I just said what Will said, it's a very plain plane. <laughs> Great lines. God damn it, and your mental connections. <laughs> Give them both inspiration. Said I'd stop handing it out for puns oh. and stuff. Oh. But then you're just wasting your own time, because we're hilarious. Mm. <laughs> I still want to enjoy the pun. Uh, the doors... Shall we just go into... They're all closed. Wooden... Yes, they are wooden. <laughs> I can't so. knock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boom! Everything flies open. <clears throat> um, Go looking door. Is yeah. there a keyhole or? Are you going to move up to the door? I sure. Think. That one, the, it's farther away from, so let's scoot around okay. and go to the door. So yeah. you're going to take one step forwards. Oh! And you would see mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. I take a step back. And crash the halberd. You, you were in that square, I'm afraid. And crash the halberd down on the floor. Uh, and it would rotate its head and it would be looking directly at you. Well, 
I'm going to ask everyone to roll initiative, oh, please. Guys, I think I might have blind sight or something. <laughs> I just missed and rolled it back into the... It said no! It said no! no. <laughs> Not today! For God's sake. <laughs> okay. How do we feel about a nat one? Tiny initiative. Da 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 da. Do I get a proficiency or it? do I get advantage? Where is my uh, advantage? <clears throat> I don't know. Do you have a lower or anything? <gasps> Well, this is so wasted on a fucking bee. Oh. <laughs> is that not twenty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what well, does that give you this overall? So silly. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay, so we've got a twenty-two. Fourteen. A fourteen. Six. A six. I got a nat one. Okay. Oh. Do you want to trade? No, I'm got time to see what happens. <laughs> I don't have a plan of action yet. Um. Uh, so that was a 22, mm-hmm. a 14 from Adeline, mm. and a 6 from Kai. Is it Kai with a Y-E or is it Kai with an A-I? K-Y-E. K-Y-E. We are very far into the campaign to be asking now. <laughs> Sorry. Um, wow, okay. Um, okay, so it is Polly up first. So you've seen... Um, so it's still dark, but you have, was it 30 or 60 feet? 30, 30. and it's just in range. Just in range. So yeah. you have, Actually, it's, it's you are on that. I'm, I'm on content that with the idea that you're currently in that square, by the way. Well, thank um, you. I will ask, though, for the rest of the combat that you are not allowed to occupy the same space. That's fine. From there, I, I will not be staying on him. Uh, so you've seen uh, Kai step forwards into this room and then this anime, a, 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 animated, yeah. animated armor mm. <laughs> has reacted and rotated their head round to look at Kai. Well, gang. Okay. Although, admittedly, I'm not entirely sure you know where Kai is. Why would He's I? looking at some thin air. Kai is invisible. When my blind sight. Oh, blind sight. You have blind sight. I forget that. Mm. This is working out actually very nicely. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is really impressive though that I could see you. I didn't even consider that. Okay, cool. Um, I am not very helpful. Does this thing, <laughs> assume, does this thing assume like a hostile stance? Um, yeah, it did something with the halberd in a way. Yeah. So it went from sort of like a neutral stance to like a crash down and grabbing onto the halberd. Oh, right. So it's like... It, it, Combat stars. It's it's no longer century. It's I'm about to fight. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and it made quite a loud noise with that as well. Ooh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Your uh, face that just says. <laughs> okay. Who's going first? Me. Oh, I was cool. just thinking about because I was saying I'm not very helpful. Um. Yeah. I thought that was just a statement. You're a friend. <laughs> Where is my book? It's uh, a pretty book. It's a really pretty book. Okay. I love this book. So, really pretty. if I do a little flyby, this is a bee by, can I have one of the little stiff signs? Thank you. Look at me so tall. Actually, how high are the ceilings? Uh, 15 just only 15 foot. You can I turn don't... it upside down if you want to indicate to me which um, specific square you're in as well. By the way. I might just slip in more. Okay. <laughs> Most of all. Um, uh, if I if I scoot on in are to, pardon? Are they new dice? I was using them last session as well, but oh, I okay. haven't used them before, so yes. In fact, I think you were out of the room when I yelled, "Don't touch them, Alex." <laughs> um, I never do. <coughs> Other people's die. If I so the wording of the help action, um, yeah. I can aid a friendly creature in attacking a creature within five feet of me. So I'm gonna aid. So I am content with that wording extending to within five feet of you as well in terms of you, you, if you are, if you just want to stay within five feet of the creature you're aiding, that's also fine. Oh, okay, no, right. I thought I've always more... interpreted it both ways. Okay, so, so if you want to stay mean... within five feet of Adeline. What if I like aid them though and then they move out of my space to attack? That would be a risk that you'd be taking that you, they could no longer use your aid action. Okay, so maybe I'll just be here because and then I can... I. No, well, this is this is all very, very difficult. You know what? No, I'm going to be here because the worst thing that could possibly happen, let's be honest, is I get hit and I'm no longer a bee. Yeah. Mm. And that seems okay. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I don't imagine you're going to be staying. Actually, I don't need to give you the help action because you're both fucking invisible, except it can perceive you, so you probably get the help. Just I'm, do something. My brain is going a mile a minute. Okay. <laughs> the whole aisle has an aneurysm. I help, I help Adlin attack this, this big beefy dude. Okay. You have a help action. You do something. Fuck that shit. Thank you, B. Okay. What are you doing? <laughs> I can't say that off. No. You were just going for snacks, but... Oh, we joked, wouldn't you like to know? We joked about fighting a giant Easter bunny. This might be happening. Oh my goodness. You want to eat um, the enemy. Okay, so... Anything else? Um, no, not really. Sorry. I, I, will, <laughs> you nice. I will use probably my reaction to when Kai attacks, um, give, let you, you know... Um, get you advantage as well. Okay, cool. Because yeah, that's a thing we can do with a telepathic bond. Okay, yeah. cool. Okay, cool. So that is the end of your turn. Yes. Okay. It is now its turn. Okay, let's see if it can, if it's going to go for Kai or if it's going to um, hit the pesky, beefs you. The pesky bee. <laughs> Bang. Buzzing next With to the it. halberd. <laughs> it just cleans That would my, be an cleans, incredible shot. Cleans my fucking wings from my body. <laughs> Polly's not dead, she's just on the ground. <laughs> Just razor sharp <laughs> out and able to swipe a bee out of the air with it. Uh, ooh, okay. Um. <laughs> just very nice, very nice. Tiny, tiny bee. But I did, ooh, I did consider attacking. It can't see you. I mean, I know it can, but does it so want to go it's going to try. Yeah, <laughs> it, it sees you. Um, <laughs> you know what? This is, this is well worth our time. I feel like a bee should have a really high AC. Mm. Okay, is a 19 going to hit you? Probably, I'll check. It's a bee. Like, it doesn't have armor on. It has okay decks. Yeah, it hits. Okay. Uh, and that will be six bludgeoning damage. Now, what I forgot is I had temporary hit points. So, actually, my bee... Does it take the temporary hit points? I or is see it why not. Or Polly as well. How did... What, what form were you in when you received the temporary hit points? Polly. Polly. Okay, I'll, I will let you decide which way you want that to fall this time, and then I will Google it at some other later. I think that it makes sense for them just to be like, because it's yeah. not a physical part of healing, it's like a magical, almost like, yeah, like bolstering. I it think depends that, on how you interpret how the temporary hit points. That's fair enough. Forward, I, I think, but I'm happy for you to decide. I'll which, say that they cross over, which okay. means that actually she, she shouldn't have taken as much damage last time, but that's fine. That means that she's still in B4. Okay. You said six? Six in total. Six. six. Okay. So that means that she has... I'm not telling. Some. Oh, she has some hit points left. You, you have to tell me. <laughs> she has one hit point left. Mm-hmm. I figured that was the case. <laughs> but if you are still alive, it's going to take its second attack. <laughs> that's, that's very fair. Uh, and that is a better roll than last time, so that's going to hit it. <laughs> well, tell me, maybe this one misses somehow. Uh, that will be a total of eight. I accidentally killed my familiar. Hang on. Um, <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> that's the wrong person. <laughs> Apply changes. Okay, eight. Yeah. Uh, I'm down seven carries over. Is that how it yeah. works? Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm back up. Well, I'm not down. You know, Polly. Yeah. Eh. Um, Why are you... I don't think you have to be prone. Be... I suppose. You yeah. just turn back into you. You're not unconscious. You're kind of used to the thing. It's yeah. a bit of a surprise, but it, you're kind of used to it. So I, I don't think you fall for it. I don't think that was a waste of a turn. Okay. Yeah, it, was, it wasted a turn. It wasted a turn mm-hmm. attacking an insect. Yep. That's pretty so, sad. I think it's not smart. You took a hit from a halberd as a bee, like a champ. I mm-hmm. survived. I survived. <laughs> <laughs> but took two hits. <laughs> Thank you, Adeline. <laughs> Adeline? We are then going to go to the lair action. Lair action? Oh yes. boy. Okay. <laughs> uh, and what you would see is like oozing out of where would normally be like the joins of the armor to like where obviously there's flexibility in motion. This sort of like shiny metal liquid that would drip onto the Ooh. floor and then reform into Ooh. three little things. And can we put these down? More like the floor, Ooh. please. <laughs> He's trying. Oh my god! Alex, you're so cute. You did it. You're so cute. Oh, you're terrible. I should be terrified, but um, these are just around the night. Uh, uh, yeah, can I get one in um okay. Uh, no, I like the position oh shit. Yeah, that stay. Isla. <laughs> back three. Back one more and then right two. 
Your right? My right. Thank you. I'll take that, thank I you. I like how it was that three and back another one and not just four. <laughs> <laughs> I can't judge the distance very well from here. <laughs> this is very cute. I love mm-hmm. it. And I will, I will say right now, if you defeat them, you can eat them. <gasps> eat. Hell yeah. Uh, and then they are going to attack you, because that's delightful. Oh my oh god. Oh no. Because well, it's now their turn. Oh boy. I and you're some, the only one visible. I made some choices. Yeah. Do they have lights on? just truly focusing on nothing. Is it still dark? Yeah. It is still dark, okay. Yeah. Mm. And you don't have dark vision as a lot of being, do you? <laughs> I've been censored. <laughs> Polly has dark vision. Does Polly? Polly has dark yeah, vision. Yeah. Yeah. Polly's an ASMR. Don't tell her. What? She's either a half elf or an asthma, and they both have night vision. Okay, so Dark vision the one that is next to you, Polly, is going to attack you. Ah, and so you see like, this, like, yes. like, this like, swirling noise as this liquid like rises up and then strikes Sweet. out at Ooh. you. I want to think very much like the Terminator. Mm. Um, is it Terminator 2? Mm-hmm. It would not mm. The liquid metal one. Not yeah. quite electric boogaloo, but... <laughs> I don't think this is going to hit the... What is that from? Because I hear that phrase a lot. Um, something to electric boogaloo. Yeah, what is that? What is it? What is that? Uh, uh, I don't think a nine is going to hit you, is it? Just misses. Just misses. Something. Okay. But only just. Okay, cool. Um... It's called Breaking. Breaking 2 Electric Boogaloo. Mm. It's a dance musical film. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. That one is going to be... Yeah. They can see us? Gunky. This one we're going to wait to hear. And they are going to each attack you. How inhospitable of them. I know. We are guests in uh, their home. Going against you, Adeline. Yeah. Um, got 19 overall. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And the one against you, Kai. Uh, got a 13. No. No. Okay. Just makes sense. Adeline. Mm-hmm. 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 Max damage. Uh, that'll be nine points of piercing damage, as that like liquid metal like hones itself into a point and like strikes out at you. Yeah. Okay. Ow. 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 Um, and now it is Adeline's go. Um. Cool. Adeline runs for the fog door. Adeline gets <laughs> fog yeah. the fog first. Um, <clears throat> right, so they can see me. She has advantage on attacking. I mean, I, I, I was meaning this guy, but I suppose. <laughs> You're helping with that one. I, what was the whole thing about five foot? <laughs> so you had to stay within five feet of the creature you wanted to help him attack, yeah, or that's... five foot of Adeline. Yeah. And I thought it was just the former, but Alex says that she's willing for the latter yeah. also. So you can have advantage to attack either, oh, either the t- those two, but that it doesn't apply to anything else. Anyway. What sort of form are these things in at the moment? They just like, like blobs, blubbies. Okay. Definitely. Okay. Very, very shiny liquid oozes. That's good. <gasps> oh, I have yeah. a good frame of reference from Elden Ring. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. I have a really silly idea. Uh, can I please squeeze into this space right here? Yes. Um, so I'm flanking. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then, uh, gonna make a couple of attacks. Cool. Uh, with rapier. Okay. Um, stab, stab. we try to pierce it. Um, well, plus one rapier, so... Uh, that's a 19 and a 20 on the die. So, natural 20. Why do you have an advantage against I'm flanking. Okay, okay. Uh, does Kai have a weapon out? I always have the trident. I out. always have a trident. Kai <laughs> is a weapon. <laughs> I, I agree with that. Uh, do, so did you ha- switch from the ten foot pole to the trident? Well, I, I just carry them. <laughs> like this. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I accept this. Um, a, a 19 or, tw- or a 20 would hit, yes. The, well, the 20 is a natural 20. Oh, okay. Ooh, Sorry, yeah, it's a, for like a 29. Okay, yes. Hell uh, yeah. Um, so... Uh, I will clarify numbering just now as well. The one next to Polly is number one. The one between Adeline and Kai is number two. And the, the other one is number three. 
Oh, good luck. They'll probably melt if you do that. <laughs> it is a very warm day. Yeah, they're not going to be there for long. Hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to melt. <laughs> It's such a beautiful day. I know. It's a lovely day. Come to Glasgow. Enjoy our weather. Mm. It is gorgeous. It was hail this they morning. They are. It hail this morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's much bloody nicer in, in August. It's great. They uh, are melting. <laughs> oh boy. 16 piercing damage. 16. Oh, we got to do this quick. <laughs> okay. Make it happen. And that's piercing damage. You 16 piercing. Magical piercing, if that matters. Okay. Bad. And... Uh, did that do much to it? Is it? Does this thing show any signs of damage? It's very hard to tell because you've just sort of stabbed your rapier into the middle of it, and it's still I don't just think sort of. Metal's black. No, but the oil. Okay. They're kind of weird and oily. It's just gonna do uh, something. Gonna... Oh, that's very good. Yeah. Cast, uh... <laughs> that's fair. No. no. Uh, I'm gonna cast Zephyr Strike with my bonus action. Okay. Mm. How many Zephyr Strikes does a boy have? Um, oh, it's, a, it's a first level spell. That's amazing. So, okay. And this is going to be with my last first level spell slot. Okay. Checking my uh, so, so, and then I'm going to have advantage on this thing again from flanking. Um, 25 to hit. My 25 to hit. <laughs> Six. It's going to be a, uh, going to be a mix of piercing, force, and... Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of extra radiant. Um, okay, I will need the um, force and radiant separately. Okay. Maybe a good idea to start closing the curtains as well so the chocolate does not melt. I think that this is actually the sun aiding us. The sun is it's our melting the enemies. I mean, Where? you're still going to fight them even if they're melted, it's just you're not going to get your prize. You think I wouldn't eat melted chocolate live on stream? On my mat. Like yeah. Lick off, off the mat. Listen, we're gonna get some viewers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not the viewers I intended, but sure. There's some. We'll take what we can get. Yeah. I can't close the blinds though. It does look like <laughs> it's like you're gonna be slowly cooked alive. It's, it's cozy. It's cozy. Okay. Uh, eight piercing. Eight piercing. Okay. Two force. Two fours? Two fours? Yeah, two fours. And I apologize, I'm not sure where I'm getting this radiant <coughs> from. I think it's my Asimov one, which I don't have on. So, uh, that's that's gonna be it. That's it, okay, cool. Um, no radiant for you. Just, uh, just a bit of extra force damage on this on this stab. Um, ah! Zoom, boom. Uh, uh, which would break my invisibility, not that I think that really matters in this room. Um, yeah, I think everything knows where we are. Uh, and Kai, does positioning matter for you? Do you care about flanking? No. Uh, no, no, no. Fall. I'm gonna go help Polly flank uh, the knight then. Uh, uh -huh. Don't take opportunity attacks with Zephyr Strike, and I'm gonna <coughs> side over there. Okay. Uh, and that'll be, that'll be me. Okay, and uh, then it is Kai. I would like to cast a spell magic on the armor. Okay. Ooh. Um, okay. What is your spell say, DC? My save yeah. is 18, 17? 17. 17. Okay. What do you roll? Oh, I make a constitution save yeah. if you go on behalf of the armor. So it specifically says it in its um, mm. thing. Like, if uh, you, if targeted by dispel magic, the armor must succeed on a constitution saving throw against caster's spell save DC or fall unconscious for one minute. That's right. Oh, nice. So it has failed, so it does topple over. Yay! Mm. Bonk. For a minute, we've got one ten minute. rounds. That's awesome. Yay. Well... Um, the oil's still doing its thing though, huh? The oil do that. can. Is there any. They can do. Is there any point, do you think, doing a little tentacle thingy? How long does it last? Like a minute. Mm -hmm. I, I have three left. We have one in each room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is it. Yeah, for a minute. Sure. Well, why don't. Mm, yeah, no. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Why not? Hopefully we're out of this room by the time nope. that... Blap. You want a blap number three? Blap. Yeah. Blap. Okay, roll to hit. Thirteen plus stuff. Yeah, stuff? 
Um, it's been a month, give me a sec. Um, <laughs> melee spell attack. 22. 22, thank you. That will hit. And then it is a d... This is cold. 6 cold damage. Cold. Damage. And its speed is reduced by 10 feet. Okay. Orlan, anything else, guy? Um, no, I'm good. Okay, Polly, it is you. Um, I don't know if there's any point of me actually... I think I'm going to, because if I, I was thinking of like, if the thing was down, I could use my action to like get my little wild shaped stinger out and da da da, but also like these things kind of seem weenie, so I might just throw rocks at them <laughs> and see what happens. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, remind me, because I have forgotten, yeah. if I attack a different creature when I'm in melee with another one that's at disadvantage, is that correct? When it's a ranged attack. Yes, yes. that's what I meant. Mm. Um, so instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. Um, okay. I'll be over here. Banking on it missing. Does a 15 hit? Nope. Nope. Okay. Nice. Magic stone gets oh, me see. some stones of magic. You want to play? And I will throw. Oh. Uh, I will throw one at the the thing that just tried to attack me. I guess. Number one. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> I was just thinking things. I was like, <laughs> you know, thinking thoughts and feelings. Okay. Cool. Uh, I definitely hit. That is a 23. Yeah, okay. And that is a d6. What kind of damage is this? Uh, bludgeoning. Okay. Magical yeah. bludgeoning. That is 8 points of damage. <laughs> okay. And nothing else at the moment. Okay. Yes. Uh, anything else from Polly? No, I'm good. I'm okay. Good. Um... The animated armor is still unconscious. For ten rounds. <laughs> Woo! Love that. We're gonna, we're gonna deal with the minions, then we're just gonna sit and wail on it, right? <laughs> uh, I just thought we just leave the room. Uh, and then it is the minions turn, so. Hmm. Your tentacle, it counts as a summon as opposed to a creature. It's not it, it's not a creature, is it? No. Okay. A lot of bad guys have rolled intelligence to see if they yeah. can recognise it as incorporeal. So that is based on the fact that they're relying on their sight to know yes. what something is. Mm. I think it's quite mm. clear from the fact that you started off as invisible mm. into not relying on sight. It is corporeal, cool. though, in the sense that it can hit stuff. It is. Mm. It's not how these enemies work, I'm afraid. So both Weird. of those down by Kai are going to go for Kai. Okay. <laughs> okay. What is your armor class? 16. I might bump that. Um, I've got a miss on the first one. Nice. Uh, and a hit on the second one. I'll bump it. Your AC is 18. 18. That is enough to make it miss. Yeah. So your AC is nice now 14. 14. Okay. Um, you and Adeline are equidistant from that one. Mm. But you did just mm -hmm. attack it, mm -hmm. so it's going to squelch one forward. <gasps> it's almost as if it knew that Are there? my AC is mm -hmm. reduced. Uh, no, it'll, it'll move the minimum amount required. It's the same. It's diagonal for it. Technically, yeah, that's true. If it hits the floor, then it doesn't hit me. <laughs> <laughs> it means it just doesn't count, and I really roll it. Uh, I think that's a miss. Uh, oh, no, sorry. I misread that. That is going to hit. Even with my mighty 40 days. <laughs> yeah, it's going to hit. Mighty. <laughs> How much damage? Damage. Damage. That's another. Kill damage. Strikes out towards your um, ball. Two you hits, take huh? three slashing damage. Three. Three. Very well. I think you can survive. I, I, if I was a bee, I'd be dead. Good thing you're not. <laughs> uh, and that is their turn. So it is now Adeline. Um. <laughs> we need to get them all to run to this corner <laughs> so that they're away from the sun. <laughs> 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 it's such uh, a beautiful day. <laughs> 
Um, uh, who's the best one to attack? Um, I think one and three have been hit, but I don't think two mm. has been. It's two the, two's this two's one. that one. Uh, I've hit that one. Oh, okay, they've both hit that yeah. We've all staked our claim on our chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> we should have brought a chocolate enemy for Alex to, to kill. A chocolate bee. Oh, a chocolate bee. That would have been the icing on the cake. Mm. We've got a bee, a tentacle, and... I don't know what to get rid of. It's chocolate-fied. Uh, given that this guy's just dropped, um, Alan's just going to... Leap over him. <laughs> Go back to his old flanking position uh, and take a couple of swings on um, swings on number number two. Yeah, he's he's uh, eighteen. An eighteen will hit. Amazing. Lovely jubbly. Um, and just do regular on this one. Uh, nine damage. And that's piercing. Yeah. Yes, that's magic piercing. You don't seem to care that I'm saying magical. No. I think ah! slashing is the thing that I can I cannot remember the last um, I think the last ooze I fought was with you as a GM. You could try that actually. Um I've thrown an ooze at you? I wrote the maybe not. I don't think we've done an ooze. I don't I'm pretty sure I've only ever fought one ooze and it was like six years ago. Hmm. I, I don't use uses frequently. Use, as, uses uses. Uses uses. uses. <laughs> uh, that is enough to kill that one. Whee! Oh, is it? You may claim ah. your prize. Whee! Huzzah! I've got the base and the blue tack back. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we'll eat it all. <laughs> base included. No, no, we need that. Um, <laughs> You're not getting it. Yeah! Thank uh, <laughs> you. And for the second one, uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna move in on this one. <laughs> Um, steal I'm just gonna try and support a bit. Um uh, and I think on on that suggestion, like, oh maybe slashing damage. Um Alan goes, alright, sure. Puts the rapier away, uh, goes for his magic quiver and pulls out Commander Helen's longsword. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and it's gonna uh, which he's not quite as good with. Proficient, but he's not strong. Um, not strong. I have not two strong. glades if you'd like one. <laughs> two glades? <laughs> I really want to know where you're keeping those. <laughs> In my very large pocket. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use the advantage from Zephyr Strike on this attack. Okay. Um, that's terrible. I mean, it might still be enough. It might still be enough. Plus seven. Uh, that's going to be 12. Oh, that's 12 is not enough. Boo! Uh, the the balance of the sword's just all over the place. Adeline's just <laughs> he's not he's not practiced with it. Um, so the sw- the swing goes a little bit high. Probably goes through the tentacle and goes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's uh, all. Um, that's the end of it. That's everything. <laughs> Kai. They are made of metal. Yes. Um. Ooh. Have you been hit by one? You said they were oily. And they came from mm, between. I said they were shiny. Between mm. the stuff. I thought mm. they were. I was imagining the, them like mercury. Oh, like mm. molten liquid. Yeah, molten liquid. Are they metal? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna do a shocking grasp either way. But if they're metal, I get advantage. I, okay, I've you get, you're getting advantage. Cool. Okay. Mm, nice one. Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, unnatural twenty. Yes. Yay. Yes. What actually is it that I do? Uh, 2d8. Great spell, great spell. Um, nice. Uh, 13 damage. Lightning. And it doesn't have any reactions. Okay, that is enough to kill it. Woohoo! You can have that well, one. it definitely doesn't have any reactions. Mm. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. Thank that you. was a... Not shocked. Mm. Yeah. You should maybe get the ice cubes out so that they can, like... That's the next room. It's just a bunch of ice cubes that we have to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we have ice cubes. We have to eat them. <laughs> Anything else, Kai? Um, I'll go and I'll stand here so that Polly can. Oh wait, no, no, I won't. Oh. This one can go here and that attack. Doesn't... Oh yeah, okay. Smart. Mm-hmm. Um, twenty-seven. Yes. Yeah. Eight damn cool Hell damage. yes! Why are you doing 27, by the way? Because that was an 18 plus... Wait, no, not... Yeah, 18 plus 9. 27 plus 9, you're spellcasting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Charisma Two. plus proficiency plus one. Mm. Wow. How much damage, sorry? Uh, eight. Eight. Awesome. That's cold damage. damage. Yes. Awesome. Cold metal. Does it slow down? I mean, it does slow and down. And then I'll the just come down here it? anyway. The technical does slow so it down. So you can have yeah. flanking. Oh, okay. That's nice. Thank you. And we'll go to the top of the round. It's Polly. <clears throat> I think I'm just going to hit it really hard with my stick. Okay. Yep. If I hit it with my staff, is that magical? <laughs> <laughs> that would be really funny though. Okay, advantage. No, oh, sorry. that's what it is! Yay! Um, that's a D. Staff of it's a D. I never specified two handed, it's a D, D6. Three. Eight. Um, 12 points of damage. Okay. That is just enough to kill it. Woo! Nice! Claim your prize. Claim the prize. Yay. Oh, yes. Fairies off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've got to maybe move the spoils into the fridge. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mm. I really think you've got the, the, the short end of the stick here. Did I? Should we just stay in initiative order and wail on this night? <laughs> yeah. I mean, why not? Yeah. I think that, well, it's unconscious was defined, so mm. it's not like it can wake up and just like... Yeah. If it's unconscious, does that mean it's on death saves? Does, arm, does armor have death saves? Not necessarily. Yes. Uh, I didn't realize what you meant when you said it was really soft until now. I have to yeah. also say it. Yeah. Like so liquid inside. Mm. Yeah. Utterly liquid. Yeah. Mm. Very tasty. Got the milkshake. Ooh, there's a place, um, Canoops in Edinburgh <laughs> that just opened. Yes, uh uh-huh. Yes, and they do hot chocolate, mm. iced chocolate, chocolate milkshakes and mochas and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. I've been to a Noops branch in this tiny little seaside town called Rye in Kent. Was that the place that we went to? Yeah, it, it was smaller than this room. Oh, but, it's so small. Mm, but one wall of it was their, their menu effectively yes. in cocoa percentage. Yes. That went from... You know, You've seen it. It's it's a very, very good, good one. Mm. Up to like the kind of I don't know what the highest one was like ninety nine percent Madagascan yeah. jet black. <laughs> okay, so that was the end of Polly's turn. Oh, we're mm. wanting to stay True. in initiative order. We're just gonna whack this gun. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to take the mild presumption that in 10 rounds, the three of you will be able to deal enough damage. Yay! With a combination Stop. of Stop. tentacles, cantrips, bang, bang, swords. Bang, bang. How kicking. long will it take? Because the armor is unconscious for a minute, but also my tentacle only lasts a minute. If I politely say that it lasts a full minute. Let me roll a d10 and see how many rounds. <laughs> Do you want the tentacle to stick around? Well, if it was going to last longer, we could bring it into the next room mm. and it could attack someone else. Do you want if to check these rooms, though? No, good point. Okay. Okay. So you may hand me back my animated armor, and you may take your tentacle back. Mm-hmm. You may eat this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I spent too many hours painting it. It's mm. beautiful. I'm sorry <laughs> that I lay down for most of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> it is the life of a DM. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to go back to checking the room I was going to check. Okay. Cool. Can I check this one whilst they're doing that? Is uh, it yeah, sure. trapped? Do you want to check the door for the traps? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'd also like to roll higher than a six. Well, I can't control that. Never mind. Uh, I'll give you the Wait, action. Still, yeah. Uh, we get, has we get advantage just because of you. Oh. Having... Because of the oh, mental thing. Yeah, okay. Um, 14. 14. Okay, it doesn't appear to be trapped. 14 also. It does not appear to be trapped. Mm. Can I check the double doors at the front? Uh, the traps? Beep. Yeah. Yes. I don't get advantage on this. Unless, does I it gave be... you the help action. Mm, you are currently doing something. I don't. Mm. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry, that's I should have said that. That was mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's so secret. Ooh, Ooh, barrels. Barrels. Guys, I found barrels. <gasps> <laughs> I found kegs. I want to say, say a different word. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, I'm a bit weird. Wow. Stuff. Stuff. And things. What's in the stuff and things? Do you want to look through the stuff and things? Yeah. Absolutely. Well, what did Adeline get on his investigation check? Eight. An eight. They do not appear to be trapped. Well, that's fine. Adeline. They have such weak security here. Come check this out. It's really cool in here. 
We then mm-hmm. cool, mm-hmm. Shit. Mm-hmm. cool shit. Cool shit. I'll come check out the cool shit. Okay. You um, investigate. I'll give you the help action, and then you also get advantage because of Adol. So thing. then, because <laughs> I've only got so a plus gaming. one. <laughs> I've only got a plus one. You guys have got plus four. So I shouldn't be doing could, anything. <laughs> can, can we Just investigate the crates and barrels and stuff? Yeah. Then? You want to? Do you want to do it quickly as like a cursory glance, or do you want to take a bit of time? Are we in a rush? Probably. Oh. A cursory glance, unless there's anything interesting. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense. No, like if I open it and it's like, oh, a sparkly thing, then I'm gonna look. But so if it's like, well, oh, it's a bunch of food. Do you want to stuff, or do you want to just kind of look at it? I wasn't just gonna look at a closed yeah, crate. Yeah, so that, that takes time to open box. Yes, I want yes. to like open it and look okay. in. And <laughs> that was my a- 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 okay. ask. Go, do you want to just go in and go, ah, oh, this barrel, stuff that, and wander off? Oh, I thought you meant, are you gonna have a glance and be like, oh, it's food, or like actually dig through the crate? Okay. We want, but you want to look inside. I would like yeah. to look inside the crate. Okay, cool. So if we're gonna if we're gonna take a bit of time for it, I won't ask you to roll because you can take a bit of time. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. And I can tell you how much you find, and you can tell me how much more you want to look. Mm, nice okay. Thing. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna stick with Kai for the moment. Um, so you would find that this is mostly a storage cupboard. Yep. Um, and you would find that there would be some basic food and like. Um, living stuff in here in terms of like there's some barrels of ale um, there's some sacks of apples and stuff like that it's like basic this is food this is how we live with a small crate of fish snack snacks you may take snacks if you please I have an apple <laughs> have an mm. apple it's quite nice it's very Good. juicy which considering F- fresh food where the feck you are that is actually very unusual we don't know where we are yeah do I recognise the fish <laughs> It <laughs> oh, come on! What area was come fish on! From? Where are we? <laughs> okay, yes, you recognize this as a fish that is very common to the Sapphire Coast. Cool! <laughs> Which waters be it particular to? The Sapphire Coast is the name of the waters. Uh, yeah. Island of Dust Elm or Inland? Dust Elm is not an island! <laughs> or Dust Elm, never mind. <laughs> I'm, I'm fishing for more information. <laughs> it's cod. Cool. You found some cod. Lovely. It looks good quality. Mm. Is there anything that's not food? Or no, no, living no. Mm. I'm sorry. Cool. Should we get the curtains as well? Yeah, I think now would be yes. a good time to get the curtains. Sorry. Please do oh, not knock the camera. <laughs> Bonk. If we're going to shut that curtain, shall I open the other window? Yeah, please yeah. open the other window and shut oh, that yeah. curtain as well. Okay. So that we've got an even set of light. Mm-hmm. And maybe give Rosie a hand to get it around the back of the camera. Yay. Thank you. Here we go. Oh yeah, we talked about closing the curtains earlier. Successfully removed the lilies that would have been the problem and then didn't close the curtains. Then had a separate mm. conversation about closing the curtains and still did nothing. Yeah. Yeah. There were lilies? Yeah. 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 They're fun. There's like Kitchen. they're bright pink and bright blue. Yeah, yeah. they're very brightly coloured. They're delightful. I look forward to marrying them later. <laughs> uh, Adeline and Polly, <laughs> starting to search through your room, you would find that whilst this is a storage room, it's obviously a lot more like a dumping room. Mm. Of um, nothing is like particularly well organised in here. The room that Kai went through, number two, is a lot more organised and has got stuff in like separate piles, like all the food is together, the barrels are neatly stacked and things like that. Mm. This appears to be a room where people bring stuff in and chuck it. Yeah. Okay. And what I think you'd find that's most interesting on a cursory glance is um, if you remember back to the fight in the temple. Mm-hmm. Underground. Underground. Yes. Where the roof started collapsing and things like that. Mm-hmm. One of you took a cursory glance up the magic circle that was on the ground. Yes, the melted of thingies that we had a big conversation about, yes, yes, I remember. You would find things that look very similar <gasps> to this. They're Whoa. all just lumped into a crate together when you and shoved up against what, the What, like platform. kind of molten slag? That's like... Yeah. Don't call her that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, um, fucking Arva Lightwielder. <laughs> um, <laughs> so oh. it is all, it's molten. Uh, it is very much melted and like twisted out of shape, and it's like everything is unrecognizable at this point in time. That have been like. I'm the, not in the, this room. The liquid metal that we fought could it have been like animated magical items that had been melted down and. That's. Like, 
That would be that's, really cool. Like, that's really cool. They could have built the animated armor that we just saw out of that, and it could have... Out of, like, you know, magic candlesticks and plates and religious relics. And I guess, yeah. Uh, maybe maybe, maybe, maybe there's more of that <laughs> in the future. <laughs> that sounds heretical as fuck. I mean, it's cool as hell. I really yeah. like it. Um, is there anything particularly, like, conceivably intact enough for it to be still of interest to us? <laughs> um... <laughs> Can I get a bless out of this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I think, like, taking a bit of time to, like, sort through the crate. Um, bear in mind that you can still hear that scraping noise in the background oh, and things like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just grumbling. Fucking scraping noise. <laughs> um, I think you could, like, most of it is, is, like, melted down into these, like, weird, twisted, like, metal blob kind of thing. There's something that you're like, this might have been the hilt of a sword at one point. Ooh. I'm not really sure. There's uh, something that's, like, got lots of spines on it and things like that that are, like, twisted and, like, flopping to one side. They obviously stood up straight at one point. Head of a mace, maybe? A lot of these things, they are melted beyond recognition. Mission at this point. All colour is gone. There's a lot of soot and ash mingled in with it as well, where there are obviously other things mm. in that were mm. like attached to these items that have now been melted. Interesting. Okay. Sounds like a national one. Yeah, so where is that music coming from? It's know. probably from the green. Mm. <laughs> the one problem with having the window open. Mm. It's beautiful, it's ambient. Um, interesting. So we're in a cult lair. I mean, we kind of knew we were coming to a cult lair, but Does so it, could this place be connected to the temple? That's why I'm thinking. I'm mm. thinking either they they did all their work here and they somehow transported it, mm. or but we talked about how it was maybe like uh, where we were was like right in the center, perhaps of where Permar like the, the radius was impacted. So maybe. Yeah. It's like an outer edge part. Well, there might be a, a massive fucking furnace somewhere here that we have to be careful about, you know. Mm. Um, or it could just be that they're magicking at places that they need to be, or that they're about to just start a new ritual. Yeah. Maybe these magic items weren't up to snuff. Or maybe they just needed them as like a kind of single use charge to like power Something, ritual I one. Guess, yeah. Mm -hmm. To Bamfus here. Um, oh, well, only one way to find out, I suppose. Mm. Hey, are there any keyholes in this door? No. Is there a small crack at the bottom to peer through? I'd like to listen at the door. Okay. Make me an auditory? Perception mm -hmm. roll? Perception roll? Okay. You have is, it, is it auditory? Yeah. Auditory. Auditory. Uh, I don't like that word, it's hard. 17. 17. So that scraping noise is a lot louder. Yes. But other than that, it is again eerily quiet. Okay. I bless Pro you soon. Probably something Thank we're you. gonna have to find. Shall Would we you get like an apple? I'd love an apple in this difficult time. Oh, okay. yeah, you both made the same joke. <laughs> surprise, surprise! <Yeah. laughs> She's just holding the ice cubes to cool down. <laughs> Very warm here. Refreezable ice cubes. Heckin' love them. Mm -hmm. um, Through the door? Through the door. Through the door. Would you like to push the doors open? Are we being sneaky or is this a door? I think we go, we kick door in and we go in. Okay, places. in that case, um, Bee Stinger and I'll come back of Bees too. Just, I'll do that stuff whilst we're... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> ah, 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 door! Cool. Anybody else want to do any prep work before Adeline kicks? Nah. <laughs> Uh, this is a raid! <laughs> <laughs> More magic stones, I guess, but I, re I should stop using them. If you hear me say I cast magic stone, say, Rosie, no, you have thorn whip, and they'll be like, fuck, you're right. Mm. Now you sound sad. Don't use magic stone, you have thorn whip. Thank you. Mm. Okay, are, are we ready? Yeah. Okay, you may roll it back to the next check. I'll put my 10 foot pole away. <laughs> okay! <gasps> it's is a that a flying a, horse? Is that a what? It's, it's a, a flying, flying horse! horse. DM, please oh elaborate. God. In a moment. Where's the camera? <laughs> oh wow, the backside of that joke oh, is quite scary. Alex yes, it is. Alex has put wings on it. Uh, it did, I uh, couldn't find one with wings, so I had to create one with wings. This is less cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. I can't do two more. I of this think spell magic, the theory so we're might have to them. 
Okay, so you do would... Do you not have one in the magic... Uh, in the no, yes, yeah, so I do. Okay, okay, but then I can't do any other third level spells. That's true, mm. yeah. So you would swing the door open, and you would see these two, what you now know are animated armors, immediately go into like, ah. attack mode. Mm. And we will roll initiative at this oh, point wait. in time. The what would I'm an idiot. I forgot I had warlock spell slots and I was like, shit, I've only got one left. I'm like, no, I have like five. <laughs> Your warlocks are like second level or something, right? No, they'll be, they're third as well. Oh, are they? Okay. Yeah. So I have three and a pearl, so I've got four, <laughs> not one. <laughs> um, so that scraping noise that you would hear, Adeline, is coming from room number five. Mm. Mm. Room number five! Um, yes. We must uh, what number get... is this? That will be a four. four. So they are numbered one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh. It took me ages to number them correctly because I was like, well, if we're rolling the map back that way, I've got to start this way. Mm. And then it, I got confused because <laughs> I didn't want to give you any indication to how many extra rooms there were. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, um, initiative rolls, please. 19. 12. Small. Um, 10. Small. Okay. Mm-hmm. Would that first strike have worn off by now? How long does it last for? Like a minute. And then, yeah, because yeah. you wailed on that animated armor for a minute. And then checked out a room. Yeah. 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 Cool. Okay, um, so 15 up. Anybody got higher than 15? Stop shaming us. What did you get? I thought you got like a 16 or something. No, a 12. 12. 12. 19. So That's higher than 15. 15. I already told you I got 19. <laughs> and I was asking the group. Oh, sorry. I was taking notes. <laughs> that other thing that you like I was to doing do. other things. <laughs> so, Adam, you got 19. I got 19. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, 12. 12. 10. 10. Okay. Thank God you're here. <laughs> Okay, so the animated armor is going to go first. Ah! Ah! It's very cool, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm not going first on a 19? No. Yes. Uh, and this one's going to go. <laughs> Do you really like just like that? To get creative with cursing. <laughs> uh, so its first attack, uh, as it draws a long sword and attacks you, uh, is going. What's your armor class, sir? Sixteen. Sixteen. It's gonna hit. Okay. Um. Mm-hmm. I'll allow it. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, for six points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Its second attack, which is gonna take, uh, is definitely gonna miss. Nice. Swoosh, swoosh. Uh, the other one has pulled out a crossbow uh, Ooh, and it's going to shoot at Adeline. Oh, Adeline. Okay. Thank you First for one. being a human shield. Uh, an 16, you shield. say. 16. That's a hit. Okay. Ah. I should have. Should have uh, for me. seven points of bludgeoning damage or piercing damage, sorry. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and seven. the second attack uh, is a miss. Okay. S- Woohoo. Uh, and then we are going to go to layer actions. Oh god. Oh no, they're gonna start reproducing. And splurging out more things. I don't care for that word. Splurge. I like splurge. Splurge or reproduce. <laughs> it was the word, it was the use of the word splurge. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, would you prefer the word exude? Mm. They start to exude things. No, that's kind of cute, I like that. Um. <laughs> Okay, uh, they are going to... Can you to more solid? Yeah, they've been sat in the ice cubes. <laughs> uh, they will appear in... Can I get them in... Yeah, coordinates. Around this one. Yeah, that one, please. That's how they're going to appear. Yeah, just North cardinal side. points. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that one that you just touched is going to move one square forwards. Ah! And it's going to go for Kai. Oh, oh my god. Can you go through an ally space? You can, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. An ally, yes. Uh, that's going to miss. Um, the one that is like directly behind the animated armor is going to yep. move diagonally right and yep. going oh to attack God. Adeline. Well, yeah. I mean, it's a bottleneck. This is actually kind of great for us. Hmm. I think that's going to hit. 16? Yeah, that's going to hit on okay. a 16. 
Oh. For three points of damage. Loser. Uh, and then the other one is going to attack you around the corner. I am going to give it disadvantage for that. Woot! Where's my other detail? There it is. For going through enemy space, is it just difficult terrain? Uh, you cannot pass through it. Does it add oh, okay. to cover, or is that just a disadvantage? Uh, so there are enemies that you can typically pass through, but um, mm. it, these are not those kind of enemies. They have to tend to be like two sizes larger. Mm. Yeah. Um, I think it's a disadvantage because it's trying to get like round the corner of the door. Yeah. It's similar yeah. cover in I, I was curious if it was in addition to cover or if it was except. Uh, I just get a disadvantage. Cool. Keep moving. I think that's a miss anyway. Awesome. A 15. No. A 15 doesn't hit. A 15 will miss. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Then you good. Um, Huzzah. It's their turn. I so it is now nice. Adeline. Okay. And for numbering convention, we'll have one on the left. Two is back right, and three is front right. One. Good luck drawing. I think this only helps you, Ayla. Uh, <laughs> and the <laughs> animated armors are the forward one is number one, and the further back one is number two. Cool. This is more some sort of like whirlwind ability. Would fucking sick. Oh. Um... Could do something fun actually. What do you want to do? Um, Dind. Dind. Um, <laughs> could I, with a cone attack, pick up? I think the best I could probably do, if you'd allow it, is to get these two, three and the one at the back. You the cone. It depends where in my square you'd have it originate from. At uh, the middle, please. Um, then I'd say that goes through their squares. It's a 60 foot cone, so it's everything in the room. Um, it's more a question of if you're happy to have it originate in the center of my square, can it pick up both of these baddies right here? I didn't want those to pick one or the other. I think they have those guys are a bit. I think you'd struggle to get the animated armor and this one. I think you'd be picking between those two. Because you've definitely got one, two, and three. Or you've definitely yeah. got those two. And it, I think it might be a pick between doing it that way mm. or doing it that way. Does that make sense? I'd have to choose between the animated armor and this one. And switch which. <laughs> okay. An alternative could be a leap into this square and do it across the way. I think it's better to try and get these guys though, no? Because they're the, the beefy guys. They're yeah. going to make more of the little guys. Quite possibly, yeah. Um, cool. All right, we'll go for we'll go for conjure barrage on two animated armors and this one then. Yeah. So that is both animated armors and egg number two. Egg number two, yeah. Uh, Alan kicked in the door with his crossbow ready, fully expecting to have at least a second to start shooting. <laughs> And immediately got just <laughs> bump <bump-rushed laughs> by everything. So uh, this is very much a shoot from the hip. Okay. Um, so each creature in a 60 foot cone, please succeed. Please don't succeed. Uh, <laughs> on a dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Okay. So what is your DC? It is um, 17. 17. Sixteen, forty, sixteen. Sixteen, okay. Two. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's everything. Um, so everything fails. Woohoo! Um, that one just kind of thumbs it to rapid fire and starts hosing the room uh, yeah. with crossbow bolts. Um, <laughs> Everything's going to take uh, pretty mediocre. Um, Twelve points of uh, piercing damage. Piercing damage. Yeah. Okay. Probably could use that spell, but uh, nice one. Um, probably best I could have done with the crossbow close range. Um, no. Numbers. 
Mm, that was not the right number. That was the right number. Twelve, you say. Twelve piercing damage. Well, yeah, from, from a from a spell. From a spell. Okay. Thank you very much. Anything else, Adeline? Um. Uh. Swaps from the cross. Just kind of drops the crossbow. Drop, pulls out his rapier. And You've got that on like a leather sling thing, don't you? So it doesn't like disappear into the yeah, ether. It's mainly for flavour, but yes, the can let go of crossbow without it without leaving it behind. Cool. Um, and one, two, three. If I can't reach it. Um, do we have anything in place for like tumbling rules to get through enemy occupied spaces? There are rules for it there. I don't actually know what they are off the top of my head. Do you want me to get rid of my cheat sheet? Or oh, actually, would it be better for me to stay out of the room in case people want to start dropping area of effects in there? Oh god, I, so. I don't know if this is the big fight. Like, yeah. <laughs> wise, it's I'm not, like, it's not the big I fight. Is big fight uh, I'll, I'll stay put, actually. I'll stay put. Okay. Okay. Not metal wise, it's definitely not the big fight because it's more armour and shit and mm-hmm. we're looking for people. I'm going to transfer my tumble. We are just, looking for people. Uh, yeah, if you could reach me the link to... Oh, I've been signed out. That's so rude. Hmm. Um, uh, that's all for me, thank you. But it is now your go, Polly, so if ah. you could focus on that yeah, for just right. a little bit. And then I can... God willing, you're asking me to all, do all sorts. I know, I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, I, j- I don't, I don't think, I think I guess I just stab this one because it's right there. In fact, mm, excuse me, pardon me, and then I can get flanking on it. Yeah. Um, mm, nice. Yeah, Adeline has his sword out now, yeah? Yes. Uh, sword. Sword. Uh, sword. Okay, that is a 16. 16. On number, egg number three. I don't, I don't, no, yes, I think. Uh, yeah, yeah, that will hit. Okay, that is cool. number three. Um, uh, that is 13 points of damage. What kind of damage? Uh, piercing, four points are poison. I don't imagine the poison goes through, but it is also magical. At that so house. does that 13 include the poison? Includes the poison, yeah. Okay. So nine piercing that's magical and four that is poison. Okay, um... For future reference, do not add on the poison for these. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like bumped in already, so I'll just I'll just minus it. Sorry. No, 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 I apologize. It's good to know. It's such it's a, a metal. it's such a funny thing that I was like, I'm gonna have a poison gal, and, and it's such a such a very niche thing. It for works this. really well against some things, and then we just come not up on this plane. Not in this, this plane is not ideal. Plane. No. When, when we're back, when we're in the free world, it's over for those fools. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, Molly? Um, no, uh, I, I think I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Kai, it is you. It says, um, you can only move through an, a hostile creature's space if it is at least two sizes larger or smaller than you, and then it counts as difficult terrain. There are tumble rules, mm. though. Mm. There's there's tumble, and there's another one that uses uh, athletics. Um, Shocking grasp. Do? Shocking grasp against the one that's in front of yes. you. You have advantage. 19 plus 6. Yes. Oh, yes. This is number 3. One. Two. Um, ten lightning damage. Ooh, okay. And you'd see the lightning arc across its surface, and it would shiver oh, and oh, dissolve. Oh, oh. But you may eat your prize. <gasps> it's deep. It's deep. Congratulations. Yay. Um. Hmm. I'm not gonna move it anywhere because, well. <laughs> You don't want to get attacked? Well, no, I was like, if I move there, then Polly can't get through, but... Mm. Um. No, I'll I'll just stay there. there. Yeah, I'll just stay there. Yeah, okay. Yep, that's me. Okay, so top of the round. Um, The animated armor in front of you is going to try and attack you, Adamant. Fine, I guess. Fine. Fine. Thank you. Hopefully these ones are much more solid. Uh, that's a miss on the first attack. Huzzah! Uh, other class? 16. 16. It's a hit on the second one. Okay. 
Do you accept? Yes. <laughs> okay, for three points of blood meter. So you find like shielded against that, I just feel like a sucker. <laughs> yeah, but you wouldn't have known how much damage it did. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. <laughs> The one at the back. Mm-hmm. I think he's going to target you as well. <laughs> Are we sure he's going to target his buddy? Uh, that's a hit on the first attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's just for another three points of piercing damage. Maybe. Maybe he's uh, not a jerk. A natural 20 on the second. Ooh. Oh. Ow. I felt that for... Nine points of piercing damage. Oh, that's so, so good. Do you think this horse is going to be an enemy? I sure hope not. It's going to kick her ass and <laughs> leads to a TP. It kick. just immediately bites you. Okay. Uh, we then go to the lair action realm. Mm-hmm. And I think at that point you would hear the creature that is in room five begin to shriek, and like that door would start to bang. Oh. Define oh. shrieking <laughs> in a Winnie esque nature. Like that. Or like like that. A <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it is high pitched and horrible. Oh, is, no. is I think it, it might be an enemy. Is it a language we recognise? Is it a language? Is it a language? Um. <gasps> is this the imprisoned celestial? Ah. Is it? Is, ah. it, is, it, is it speaking celestial? Or it's a beast. <laughs> you both speak celestial. Yes. Yeah. You don't, but you I've have heard, I've heard it. it. This and is the celest. This is. I guess you could recognise it as the voice that you heard. Before shrieking <gasps> at you. Wait, which voice? The one that gave me severe the... psychic damage. Yeah, that was rough. Mm-hmm. So it's not exactly speaking celestial, but mm-hmm. it is more like screaming in a celestial accent. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell they're a tourist. <laughs> uh, 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 psychic damage. Egg um, number one is going to attack you around the corner, Red Adler. Can you use that? Like, cool. Yeah. Is that a disadvantage? So the train, it's not going to hit. Cool. Thing. The other one oh, is yeah. going to attack you as well because you're there. And it can see you. Like is it going to be polite point. enough to step forward? It is not. Please, into this nice flanking <coughs> trap we've left for it. No. Boo. It doesn't need to step, Boo. so it doesn't. Breed. That is going to hit. Boo. <laughs> For. Six points of piercing damage. Okay. Um, and that. <laughs> no! It, it doesn't. It just dies <laughs> on the spot. Ah, boh. Uh, Alan, it is your go. <laughs> um, I shout back in Celestial, um, but we're coming to rescue you. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Um, and then. Don't have the spell slots to just Zephyr striking, so. Um, you don't need to. We're, we're going to have these dark guys down in no time. Yeah, yeah. No time. Uh, so, I'm going to attack uh, the minion diagonally to the right of me. Can I get another, please? That one. Uh, number two. Is that number two? Okay. Oh, we don't, we don't know one and two, yeah? Uh, yeah. Okay. Conveniently, number three was the first to die. Nin- nice. 19 on the die. And then above 19 will hit. Uh, uh, 28, yes. yes. For uh, 12 magical piercing. Oh. Amazing. Um, and then he thinks, oh wait, hang on a second. And then, long sword. <laughs> uh, it worked so well last time. <laughs> Can I get that one back into its oh. uh, square, please? Thank you. Uh, and then he's going to do a swing with a long sword. Oh, Nat 2 uh, for an overall 9. No, God! Da- I think maybe it's just not your weapon. The, the, oh, the yeah. dice are telling a story. Yeah, they are. And it is. Stop yeah. trying. Oh, I can try this again! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not good with this. Uh, increasing increasing yeah. thoughts that maybe this sword is not for you. It's not the sword for me. Um, I think he's just, just going to sit tight in the doorway and uh, prepare for another onslaught from everything. <laughs> Okay. Um, rather than take multiple attacks of opportunity and back away. That's fair. Mm, um, that's a good thought, actually. I just didn't even consider. Uh, I have no bonus actions that can that can help me here, so that'll do. Okay. Uh, Polly! 
Okay. Um, I think that can 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 like from here would I be able to get a light on this door? Like, would I be able to see the door? Ooh. That the noise yes. is happening. From? Yeah. Is it just a closed door in the same capacity that these guys were? Yes. I can't decide if I want to do something stupid or just fight the thing. Stupid. Stupid. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. So I've got one attack over here. I know. Too. Yeah. Um, I think that's gonna hit. I'm trying to get your armor class again. Sixteen. Sixteen. That's gonna hit. Okay. For seven points of bludgeoning damage. Slashing mm-hmm. damage. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to thorn whip the door. Oh, cool! Okay. Um, see if I can yank it open. Walk me through that one again, sorry. I'm gonna see if I can hit it with thorn whip. It'll do damage. So if the door is like you know, like I can wrench it off its hinges a little bit, hopefully. Okay. Um, but it also pulls the creature ten feet. So I'm. Are you just trying to pull the door open? open. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh-huh. Um, so is it usually an attack? An roll? attack roll, yeah. Okay, so roll me an attack, and you're rolling attack against the door essentially. Yeah. Uh, 25. Yes. And then I'm going to ask you to roll damage for Thorn Whip. And essentially you're just trying to get uh, get enough damage to break the lock and wrench it open. Uh, 22. 22 is more than enough. So you wrench this door open. Sick. Cool. Amazing. Right. And I think what you would immediately see is... Like a flash of like white. I'm sorry, I could not find the thing with the white. That's fine. Just tippics. Tippics. <laughs> <laughs> it would ruin my little card. <laughs> my little wipeable card. I don't have white pen. <laughs> uh, but you would see this flash of white and like this flurry of hooves <laughs> as like yeah. something is moving in there and like a flutter of wings. And That's is awesome. there anything else you would like to do? Um, I thought that was my action. I have done some moving. Uh, it's your turn next. If I go here, I can give you flanking. But you're not really a... Yeah. Well, I mean, I get advantage anyway, because mm. it's metal. So, stand where you want. Oh, yeah. Stand where I want. Um... <laughs> I'm so... You know what? Uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll go around. Because that means that Adlin can have flanking if he wants. And it also Ooh, means that people can pass through if, if you want to come into this room. It doesn't mean that this guy can get flanking on me fucking easy. It's better we'll just stab it. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Okay. Yeah. Kai. Shocking grasp, and then hopefully I can finally get in the room. Which, who are you shocking grasp? The, that one. Number two. two. Number two. Um, 18. And 18 will hit? Is it 3d8 number level 11? Yes. Yes. Because you roll the counter <laughs> with three dice there. Yeah. You roll two and a half. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's why I paused it there. I was like, sure, it's a but no. So it was good to keep talking about. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. Um, Twelve is more than enough to kill yeah. this one. Bizarre. Do you want to claim your prize? Woo. Woo. Who would you like that to go to? As you're doing it. Whoever. Fight. Would you like it? No, because it's no, thank you. Um, Have that. Enjoy. I shall. It's quite cool. My technique is working. <laughs> oh, burying them in my ice cube box. Mm. <laughs> I'll just stay <laughs> here. Okay. Um, in the, na, na, na. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I was just going through every, all my bonus actions, but I'm, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we'll go back to the animated star. The one in front of you, um, Adeline, will attack you. Mm, you fall over and not take a turn. Uh, it's going to hit. Okay. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I was going to give you two AC, but oh, I'm not because like, that guy's going to get fucking advantage on me. Um, oh, that's the wrong page. They don't seem that strong. So. No, they no. are just plinking away at us. Uh, yeah. Eight points of piercing damage. Okay, that's a bit more than a point. Slashing damage, sorry. And mm-hmm. second attack. Eight. You're 16 armor class? Yeah. It's gonna hit. Okay. This is gonna body me. Mm. Oh my god. Uh, four points of slashing damage. Yeah. I don't care for ammunition. Don't do it either. 
I've taken nearly 60 points of damage today. Really? What have you been doing? Getting hit! <laughs> what have you two been doing? Back me up! <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else I could go on the front line. We've all got the same armor class. I've taken 12. Do you all have the same armor class? Yes, we're all AC 16. <laughs> We've all got roughly 100 health. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, you don't anymore. It's a rabbit. The one with the crossbow is going to shoot at you, Polly. Yeah, it's Good. not a shot thing. Uh, that is a hit. <laughs> three damage. <laughs> I haven't declared damage. I know, but it's been, it's, been, it's, for you. Three, it's You've been doing seven, like three, seven, three, seven, so I thought maybe it'd be three again. <laughs> no, I have five. Okay, an it's average. Really it's really annoying. Average, yeah. And it's second attack, it's going to attack you again, Polly, and I think. I think that's a miss. Yeah, that's a miss. Woo! Okay. Uh, it's now the lair actions. So that one, that round the corner from you, Adeline is still going to attack you. Ooh, cool. Guy. Disadvantage. Uh, oh. Uh, I think, yeah, that's going to miss. Yeah. It's going to miss. Not good. Um, and then I think what you would all see is that as that door is wrenched open, mm -hmm. this creature is going to come cantering out and yeah. crash into the, uh, uh, the, that one Love at the back. It. So nice. you can put it in the square next to where that one was without toppling this anything over, please. Right here and yeah. this one like here? Uh, w one more towards the door, please. Yeah, those four squares. Yes. And what you would see is this. What is, um, I think Adlin would automatically recognise this because you've oh. seen these before. They, like what? members of the Knights of Ash have these. Oh, what? the the real senior boards. Yeah. Oh. Is, Greater steeds. This is a Pegasus, as it comes cantering out with its wings. But you can Holy see shit. It, it is very hard. Oh. It has got a lot of blood matted into its fur oh, and no. hair and things like that. It wings, one of them looks quite bent and broken. Is it this one that's less um, well drawn? <laughs> <laughs> oh, easy, easy. She'll kill you next. <laughs> put a lot of effort into I know, this. Alex, it's beautiful. How many, how many good berries do you have? <laughs> Uh, like I say, I think I used also, I think I kept like 10 left over, but I'll have to check the, the records. Uh, you can also see that it's got like the it's got a series of manacles around its feet that are connecting um, its front and back feet. So it's like hampered mm. as it mm. is moving, though it is it is hurting itself in its movement. But it's quite clear for you to see just how upset it is. I guess the right Aww. word is. It looks terrified Aww. and just just crashes yeah. into this armor at the back. Gosh. Just because I have a set of them in my inventory. Are the dimensional shackles that it's got on, or are they just mundane ones? Mm. That's a good question. I'm not sure you'd be able to tell from this far away. Oh, the dimensional true. You've got like shackles, they don't focus. look massively different from normal shackles until you get up close and you can see runes on them and stuff like that. So I think considering your positioning, it's in the middle of a fight, it's mm -hmm. on horses' hooves that are <laughs> flying around the place. Um, it, I'm yeah. not sure you would have picked that up. Okay. But it is going to try and attack this thing. Nice. And you see, it, he's essentially just trying to like shove its hooves into this creature. Uh, it doesn't hit, I'm afraid. Mm. So you can see it's sort of hampered by these these chains that are around its legs that, that mm. are preventing it from moving particularly quickly. Um, and then it is Adeline's go. Um, cool. Would I similarly have disadvantage to attack this little minion around the corner? Uh, yes. Cool. Um, if she went there, would you have disadvantage to attack this guy? I assume so, it would be cancelled by the flanking, so it would be really straight, which means I might as well just tap yeah. where I am. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're, we're definitely not blocking. Long sword at this point. Uh, so, are we switching back? Back to back to the rapier. Yeah. Back to the rapier. Yeah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. He's juggling rapier, longsword, crossbow. Da, 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 da. <laughs> what are we this using? one. This one. <laughs> Just pulls out a shovel and goes, "Oh shit, not that." Not that one. <laughs> Tries to stab with crossbow. <laughs> Wait, no, hang on. That one. That one. <laughs> I think you have tried to stab with your crossbow. <laughs> oh, shit. Right. Next one. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Second attack. Now two. Oh, oh, two. Okay. 
I think Adlon is flustered. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, no it's worse than 11. Hits. Well then. Well then, well then, well then. Sorry. Um, I just show encouragement at the Pegasus in Celestial. <laughs> You're beautiful. What are you saying to it? Um, like, we're, we're here to free you. Um, <laughs> fight, fight with us. Let's <laughs> defeat you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Adeline's flustered. I'm now flustered. So. <laughs> Uh, okay. No, no bonus action. Okay. Uh, Holly, it is your go. I go here. Okay. I attack flanking. What are you attacking with? Sorry. Uh, my stinger. Your stinger. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh. Same. Uh, twenty six. A uh, twenty six will hit. Will I not bother with poison damage again? No, I'm afraid not. That's okay. Ooh, that's not so good. Um, that's sev- seven points of damage. Okay. <laughs> Anything else, Polly? <laughs> there's nothing much else to do. Yeah. <laughs> you just bang. I like, I like bonus action, but no, or like object interaction. I just like open my pocket a little bit and go, "Hey, buddy, I got like a bunch of berries in here. If you want any, <laughs> <laughs> just say that's the horse and Celestials." Okay. Very calm, very chill, as it's going absolutely bonkers behind. I think she doesn't a soothing presence, and that is what I shall be. Okay. Uh, Kai. <laughs> um. A Pegasus has been introduced to the room! (laughs) Eldritch Blast. Okay. Um, Very good. Yes? So this is a ranged attack and you Mm. are melee with something. So it is at disadvantage. Uh, Sorry. mm. That's not... So many of my things do psychic damage and I don't think (laughs) a suit of armour is going to take that. I is that thing made of the that. same metal as the little things? They're just going to keep doing shocking grass. So I guess so. So the little things are like liquidy. Oh, okay. The big things are still definitely solid. Oh, okay. So I think it'd be hard to tell until it's solidified. It's more for the shocking grass. I mean, it's oh, like, it is still metal. Yeah. You still right. get advantage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not twenty. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Would you like some d8s? Do you have enough? One, two, three. Yes, you now need six. Forgot what a D8 looked like. I don't um, think four, that they want ours. Hmm. No. Five. I think that's all that I have. We've got pretty ones. Five. Can I have one more? <laughs> 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 Take it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> I thought there was a comparing going on. <laughs> um, ten. Twenty. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Lightning is enough. As the lightning arcs across this creature, it would shake and then explode into many little pieces. Shrapnel everywhere. You just did a whole two damage. You're welcome. (laughs) Every little helps. Um. Nice one. Yeah. Let me just make some space. I'll stand over here. I like that. Hmm. Okay. So it's now the animated armor's turn. Mm -hmm. Um, It is going to turn to the Pegasus and it's going to fire on the Pegasus. No. Okay. Um, Does it have disadvantage because of melee? It does. Oh, good. Okay. That's how it feels. That's how it feels. It's going to miss on its first attack. Uh, A miss on its second attack. Uh, and then we go to top of the round. Pegasus is going to try and attack that animated armor. Go for it, buddy. And um, he's going to miss. Ah. Uh, and then that little blup blup is. Uh, I think we would go for Polly, actually. You're a bet target now. Uh, and I think that's a hit. Rude. For a total of eight piercing damage. We had a thing going. How dare you? <laughs> mm. uh, and we are back to Adler. Um. Ba, 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 ba. Who 
think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, gonna go help uh, help a celestial out. Um, yeah, help a celestial. Help a celestial out. I'll I'll chance the opportunity attack. You should, yeah, you got flank. Six. Yeah, easy. Uh, take the opportunity attack from little blob. Okay. Would if you, you? Oh, um, if you ran that way, would it still have disadvantage when it went for the opportunity that's, attack? That's a point. That's the square I'm leaving. There's okay. a there's a vantage around the corner. Okay. Okay. Still gonna hit you. Oh, okay. Another try. Yeah. It's a worse hit, but it's still gonna hit. <laughs> uh, for eight points of piercing. Ow! I am wounded. Good. That's like a lot. To do. <laughs> Forty-six hit points. Um, uh, and then we're just gonna proceed to stab the hell out of this enemy armor. Okay. Uh, 23 to hit the animated armor. Okay, why are you getting advantage? Planking, Planking. with the, the horse. It's not an ally. But it's a... It's, a, it's, it's, it's fighting the animated animal. The animated armor is flanked. 100%. Yeah, there's two things that are attacking it. The enemy of my enemy. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the boarding for sneak attack. <laughs> yeah. The enemy of my Um... Hmm. Okay. So I didn't. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go with it. Let's go with it. So the rule book does specifically say to allies. Interesting. Yeah, it's a celestial. It's not necessarily an ally. Okay. If I decided that we were buddies and we were pals and then you stabbed in the back I would consider you an ally but you just might not feel the same way <laughs> <laughs> so. I think it's an ally <laughs> uh, uh, 8 piercing damage what did you get to hit? it was 23 okay. 23 okay yeah so 8 piercing damage uh, with 8 piercing damage okay and save again just go and stab Damn. Natural nice. flank. Yes. Yes. Just impale it. Stab, stabby. Uh, that's good. Uh, Fifteen points of damage. Fifteen points of damage is enough. Oh, yeah. yeah. This animated armor crashes into pieces. Eat it. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> Anything else, Adela? Um. More calming words in Celestial to the panicked horse that's definitely sentient and I should not treat like an animal, but... Whoa, horsey, whoa! Whoa there, buddy, whoa! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> then it goes, hey! <laughs> oh, I'm afraid I don't have any hay. Would you like some? <laughs> I was afraid to make this thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was very good. I like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, uh, we'll leave that. Uh, I will... How did you know? <laughs> Sorry? How do you know? What? That's on the no, no. phone. Hit. Oh. Your mom's calling me. <laughs> uh, six squares to there. Uh, I think. Just sit tight there. Okay. It's all good. <laughs> okay. Huh? Uh, huh? Polly, huh? it is you. But I guess I stab the one remaining jelly. Yeah, you want to stab it? I stab it to see it. Uh, that's a 28. 28? Does that hit? hit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, that is nine points of damage. Nine points of piercing damage? Yes, that's with the poison removed. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. It's the first time that one's been hit. Oh. Cool. Uh, anything else? I will pivot around so that my friends can hit it more easily for me. Okay. Nice. Uh, Kai! <laughs> Doesn't move diagonally. <laughs> Does that cool little. T -t -t -t. Not 20. Oh! Yes. 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 On shocking grasp? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Declaring what you're doing before you're rolling would be very helpful, for you. 
four. It's the same thing I've done in every single. I want a different one. That one did bad. How dare <laughs> <There are you. laughs> yeah, you? I still want the creature. Before you roll. Uh, six, ten, eleven. 15, 18. 18 is more than enough oh, to destroy nice. this, and you may claim your prize. Hello. Is your one there? Uh, I believe it's, is it yours? Is your I think it's yours. Thank you. Woohoo! Thank you all. We did it. Well, well, well done. Save the horsey. Save the horsey. And I think we will take a quick 10 minute break at Woo-hoo. that point um, for refreshments and things like that. So uh, we will come back to deal with the Pegasus. At five past. I just remembered I'm going to come and see when we start the stream. Is <laughs> so, it very cold? I'm going to send a third message to be fine, but we'll find out. We'll leave you yeah. at five past. <laughs> we will be back at five past. <laughs> Bye. See you time. <laughs>